What's up guys, this is FC Glitchin here with a new video where I want to be talking to you guys about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. As you know, the multiplayer reveal actually came out yesterday, so if you haven't seen that yet, make sure to go check it out before watching the video. Uh, it's on the Call of Duty channel and also a bunch of different YouTubers posted their footage of them playing it if you want to go check out that as well. And uh, basically I'm going to be talking to you guys about the new features that are being implemented into it, uh, as well as my personal thoughts on the features and just the game in general, and I also want to hear you guys thoughts about it in the comment section below but um basically uh we're gonna start off talking about the actual game modes um they're coming back with a bunch of the same game modes they've got like capture the flag hardpoint which are coming back from black ops 2 and they've also got like the basic ones like team deathmatch domination search and destroy yada yada whatever um but they have announced two new ones they're gonna have a total of 12 game modes but they've already we already know what like seven of them are, so there's still five up to, you know, up for grabs. But they have announced two new game modes, which are Uplink and Momentum, from what I know. And I know that one of them is actually like a new version of the classic war mode in World at War. If you didn't know what that is, uh, you can go look up games of that on YouTube or whatnot. That's basically it for the game modes. I was kind of hoping that uh, Blitz from Ghosts comes to this game, because that was my favorite game mode in Ghosts, but it's a whole two different people making it. Uh, so I'd assume it wouldn't come into Advanced Warfare, but you guys can tell me which which game mode you're hoping uh, comes to Advanced Warfare in the comment section below. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and get into the next thing, which is actually like the whole exosuits and your whole create a class and thing, uh, because this is actually one of the coolest parts of all the new features. You're actually able in this game to customize your character just like in Ghost, except it's going to be a lot more in depth and you can change your character a lot more. In Ghost, you know, you had the option to change your character, but it really didn't do that much. Uh, in this in this game, you'll actually be able to see a bunch of different colors and stuff, and uh, there's a bunch of different stuff that you can use in comparison to Ghost. It's going to be a lot better. But um, there's just a ton of new creative class options as well. Instead of having 10 options like in Black Ops 2 uh, to, you know, pick your class, you actually have 13 options, but uh, picking your score streaks actually counts toward this, and you can pick up to four score streaks. So if you want, you can have four score streaks and spend nine on your actual class, or you can spend all 13 in your class, and uh, you know you can just go full class, no score streaks. So that's kind of a cool thing, and it's going to add a couple of new things uh, to decide when you're creating your class. Um, and also, here is definitely the coolest, coolest new feature I think out of everything. I think this is the coolest thing ever. Um, during the like lobby screen when you're waiting for the game to load, uh, after you create a class or whatnot, you can actually go ahead and start trying out the class while the lobby's like loading up and everything before the game. You can just go into like a virtual lobby and you can just start shooting like targets and whatnot and test out that class before you actually go into the game so you don't go into a game with a crappy class that you don't like and it, I think that's just one of the coolest features. Uh, that was a really good decision, a really good idea on their part to do that. Another cool thing that they're implementing are supply drops. And basically the more you play the game, uh, the more you get these supply drops. And what's in these supply drops are like rare items or whatnot that you can customize your character with, like clothing and uh, guns and whatnot. So that's like another cool little implement implemented thing in the game. Now we're going to actually talk about the the game in general and basically I wanted to talk about like the whole movement system and how people are going to be different when it comes to skill level on this game because it's a really fast paced game you got like double jumps and then like a, a sprint boost and stuff like that and I feel like there's going to be a much bigger gap between people who are really bad at this game and people who are really good at this game, and it's going to take a lot of getting used to with this game, uh, because it's just a whole different, a whole different like movement system and everything like that. So it's it's going to take a while to get used to it. I'm not really sure if I'm excited for the whole new movement system. I mean, it looks fun, but I hope it's just not something that gets like really old and annoying after a while. Because uh, I feel I feel like a bunch of people are gonna rage when uh, like really good people at this game that know how to use the movement system and whatnot like they start shooting at them and they just jump away, uh, do a super boost, and then just kill you as they're like flying away. Uh, but I hope that isn't really a huge issue when it comes to the game. Anyways, I'd like to talk to you guys about like my actual personal thoughts about the game in general and uh, what I think about it. Um, I think the game personally really looks like Titanfall. Uh, it's like it's like a 
Call of Duty version of Titanfall. It's from the same creators as Titanfall, I do believe, so I guess that would make a little bit of sense. Uh, but... I, I'm really not sure if I really like these types of futuristic games. I kind of I kind of wish that they would just go back to like World War Two, World War One, that kind of stuff. I'd assume that's what Treyarch is doing next year when they uh, when they do their Call of Duty game uh, with zombies and everything. But this game doesn't really look as bad as Ghost because I mean the first time I saw this multiplayer reveal trailer, like I thought I thought it looked bad. You know, not as bad as Titanfall or anything like that. It looked a little bit better than that, uh, but. It's, it just, th when I see the graphics and everything, I don't get that immediate pissed off feeling like I do when I look at ghosts. Like, when I see the game, like, when I see ghosts, like, I just immediately get that pissed off feeling. And, um, <laughs> I, I don't know why, but I just can't stand the game. Uh, I don't know, some people still play it, but most people have went, have gone back to, uh, Black Ops 2, which for some reason, I, I don't know, I played it so much, it's, it's just still entertaining. It doesn't get old, which is what I'm hoping will come with this Advanced Warfare game, and it doesn't, like, get old super quick. But I have a feeling it'll last longer than Ghosts, but it won't last near as long as Black Ops 2, and people will start complaining about it, and they'll move back to Black Ops 2 and other games like that again until, uh, you know, the next the next game comes out. So, I, I don't really know. You guys can tell me your thoughts in the comment section below whether you think this is going to be a good game or not, uh, because I'm still kind of, I'm kind of on the edge. I, I don't know which way to lean, because whenever I feel like a game is really good, and uh, beforehand, before I actually get it and play it, uh, what happens is it ends up being complete shit. But then on the other hand, a lot of times after I get a game that I think is going to be bad, it ends up being one of my favorite games. So I, I really don't want to come up with a whole like feeling about it yet because I just want to play it. Uh, because you can't always get that whole like your whole thoughts on the game just from like looking at someone else play it. You have to play it yourself, get the feel for it. Anyways, I also forgot to mention earlier, uh, if you do actually pre-order the game, you can get it, like, you can get it and play it 24 hours early before its actual release. So that's, uh, I, I think that's just one of the things that they're doing to try to get people to pre-order and whatnot. I'll be actually getting the game earlier than that, a couple days before that, so, uh, I'll be getting a bunch of stuff recorded, and I'll be, uh, giving you guys a bunch of videos and tutorials, whatnot, the day that it does come out, because I don't want to post it before it actually comes out and get a copyright strike or anything like that, but do know I will have a lot of content for Advanced Warfare, um, and I'll give you guys, you know, my thoughts about it on Twitter, whatnot, but anyways, guys, if you guys are still watching to this point, well, good job to you, because, uh, <laughs> it's been a while, it's, it's a longer video, and it's quite a long commentary, but, uh, thank you for watching, if you did watch this far, um, make sure to comment down your thoughts about, like, anything I said in this video, or your thoughts on the game in general, uh, and let's try not to start any, like, flame wars or anything like that, okay? But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy it, make sure to drop a like on the video, that really helped me out, and also comment down below what you think about it, like I said. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'm FC Gwichin, and I'm out.